Hi everybody, I'm Mark, amateur radio callsign M0IX, and in this video I'm going to talk about the new Raspberry Pi 400. But what we're going to do, I'll show you the, um, the actual computer. As you can see, it's just a normal Raspberry Pi keyboard type size. I've changed the form factor of the Raspberry Pi um, to make it long and thin instead of uh, short and rectangular. Uh, all the ports have been brought to the rear. Um, so we can access all of them, an SD card there, uh, and the same, uh, three USB ports. Uh, I believe the fourth one's still present, but it's wired up to the keyboard. So you can use this um, as a shack PC, wired up to your monitor, um, powered from the mains. But if you're like me, you do, you do a lot of your operating outdoors. So what the, the question is, can we use this in the field? So let's have a look. So the first thing we're going to need is a field. Here's one, let's use that. Now to make the video a bit easier, let's add a table. Next, of course we're going to need the Raspberry Pi 400. Because we're using this for amateur radio, of course we're going to need an amateur radio. And in order for that to work, we need an antenna. And we're going to need something to display the screen. Um, today, I'm going to use an Android tablet, which I'm going to connect by VNC to the Raspberry Pi. So of course, now we need power for the Raspberry Pi. You could connect um, a five volt power supply direct to the GPI pins on the back. But what I prefer to use is these car um, adapter. It's a USB 3, a 3 amp supply. Um, you can get these pretty much anywhere, Amazon, eBay, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. They're fairly cheap, so if they do break or you lose them, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and I carry a couple of spares. This one is hardwired with a USB cable. There's another type that I've got, which is those types where you just plug, plug the USB cable in. And because I've got a 12 volt battery in here to power the radio, I can just put that into an adapter I made and plug the Pi in and away we go. Then I just need to plug in the radio and turn the radio on and wait for it to power up. So now I've connected the uh, Android tablet to via VNC to the Raspberry Pi 400 there. And the last thing we need, of course, is a mouse. Uh, I think the only thing that this uh, this Raspberry Pi is lacking is uh, perhaps a trackpad. That would probably make life a little bit easier for this sort of thing, but I guess it's not designed for that. But as you can see, it's quite easy to set up. And yes, the, an well, the answer is yes, we can use it in the field quite easily. Um, let's run up JS8 Cool and send out a, a heartbeat just to prove that everything's working. Hopefully that's of use to see how we set the, uh, the Raspberry Pi and where we can use it. We can use it anywhere. These are great little computers and I particularly like this one um, with the keyboard and what have you. Even if uh, and you could, I could have brought a monitor with me. I've got one inside that, uh, that does run off the 5 volts as well. So I can connect that to the same power adapter that's running the Raspberry Pi. Um, but the VNC one is just a, a little bit more easy little bit easier, fewer cables, um, so it's ideal. And the, uh, the Wi-Fi is coming from the phone, which is filming this. 
as it was yesterday. They all connect and uh, run over that. Um, the beauty of that, I guess, is I could also use the touch screen instead of using the mouse if I wanted to. Okay, thanks very much, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. 7-3, everyone. Bye.